Okay, so um, I would like to just say a few words about the lovely can here. Um, as you can see, this is a Starbucks double shot espresso. And um, I think I could go on and on forever about how uh, delicious and uh, lovely this drink is. It's um, it's really flavorful. Uh, it's just it, it, well, I'm not gonna lie to you. It's not packed with nutrients, but it's not especially bad for you either. Um, this this is a very very uh, accessible beverage. Um, really really easy to find. Uh, you can find them uh, pretty much pretty much anywhere you go so you don't have to uh, stray too far uh, or burn a tank of gas uh, in order to find one of these. Uh, they're, they're really accessible and they're and they're just um, well let's just say they're just easy to find. Um, you can usually find one in a convenience store or you can find one at uh, Walgreens or uh, you can find one at Starbucks. Generally they'll, they'll have uh, they'll have one of the well they'll have a bunch of these uh, in the refrigerated section so if you don't really want to pay a lot of money you can just get one of these because they're pretty much the same uh, pretty much the standard price everywhere so that's the good thing about this. Um, my suggestions to you, uh, don't, don't let it sit out, uh, at room temperature. It's really, the taste is really nasty if you let it sit out. Uh, it tastes like, um, it tastes like mud. So, um, my suggestion to you is to always keep it cold or at least buy one that's cold. Or if you are able to purchase a cup of ice, uh, maybe at a convenience store or at Starbucks Coffee House, uh, that would probably be the best thing to do because uh, this is just not very good warm. Okay, uh, if you are going on a on a trip, uh, it would be best for you to uh, have an ice pack. Uh, in the uh, uh, and maybe a bag or something like that or a lunch bag or anything like that because it doesn't taste better warm on a trip either so um, you definitely want to keep something like this cold uh, and like I said it does uh, taste pretty good on ice however I will also tell you that it tastes better cold over ice as opposed to warm over ice but uh, if you're just in a situation where you can't chill it, um, then, you know, you just have to do what you can, right? So, um, it is a wonderful, wonderful flavor, and I've been, uh, I've been a devoted fan for many years of this particular beverage. The good thing is, is that uh, you don't have to spend a lot of money. Uh, I mean, these things aren't really cheap. I will, um, I will say that they're not, they're not, uh, they're not a cheap beverage. They're not like a soda, but uh, let's just let's just say this one thing: uh, two eighty-nine is probably a lot better than five fifty at Starbucks, right? So uh, and. You don't have to worry about emptying your wallet to buy one of these. Uh, if you have a, a few extra bills in your uh, wallet, you know you can just plunk them down and uh, take take one of these with you, right? Um, this has a lot of power in it. 
basically. It has a lot of it has a lot of caffeine uh, in this little can here, uh, and you just see that Starbucks insignia that right there. You know, it kind of even makes that can even better to look at, right? I mean, it's just uh, just a very very pretty can. Kind of has that that chrome finish, right? Um, then you have the beautiful lettering double shot espresso. Uh, the good thing is um, look over here over on the side 140 calories per can so uh, if you're on a diet um, this is a good thing to drink, right? You know, not uh, not high in calories, uh, not high at all. Um, it's six and a half ounce, uh, six and a half ounces, premium coffee drink, uh, and this is not an energy drink. Um, thank goodness, uh, I cannot stand energy drinks. Uh, I hate them with a passion. So uh, this is a good thing if you like straight coffee then this is the way to go um, energy drinks to me to have a metallic taste and they just they they just taste weird to me so I don't drink any of them even though a lot of uh, people that I know seem to just really um, dig that energy drink flavor but uh, it doesn't it doesn't win me over at all um, And like I said, it's just, it's really just, it's just a, it's an acquired taste. I will admit when I first tried one, I didn't like it because um, I liked a lot of more sugary type drinks. But now uh, it's just, it's completely, it's become a large part of my life. Um, I actually don't feel good if I don't have some sort of coffee in my system. And like I said, since I've started buying these, uh, you know, find out that I have a little bit more money in my bank account. Uh, so um, these are definitely the way to go if you're trying to save a little bit mo of money and you're trying to cut back on sugar. Uh, you don't have to worry about a lot of refined sugar in this as you would uh, a lot of Starbucks drinks. Uh, and also, you know, you don't have to worry about 500 calories in one of these either. So that is a plus as well. Um, just basically espresso and cream. And, uh, and like I said, it has a lot of caffeine in this. Uh, don't, don't give it to your dog. Don't give it to your cat. And don't give it to your kids. There is nothing worse than a 10-year-old hyped up on caffeine okay it's it's just not a good idea um, kids are hyperactive anyway and so you don't want to uh, you don't want to exacerbate that okay so uh, keep that in mind as you're drinking one of these don't keep them out of reach of children in fact they should say that on the can as well keep out of reach of children um, but if you're over 18 um, this is just uh, this is just an excellent uh, an excellent way to start your day uh, it's just a very very beautiful a beautiful uh, excursion into that coffee that coffee flavored abyss right uh, or, or maybe you should maybe I should say that coffee flavored heaven it's just it's a really um, if you haven't tried it you must try it um, like I said, it's not really a healthy way to start your day, but it's not exactly unhealthy either. So, uh, just, uh, open your mind and experience and bye.